wine has five grams of carbs per glass on average. Sometimes more, sometimes less. What if I told you there was a wine out there that was 0.26 grams of carbs per glass? Would that pique your interest? I'm certified nutrition coach Samantha Souza, and I teach people how to end the cycle of yo-yo dieting for good all while creating a delicious lifestyle. I'm going to tell you all about how you can have wine on a low-carb diet. I'd stick around for that. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get right into the video. We're good. Today we're going to be taking a look and reviewing the Seco Wine Club recommended wines. These are point. 32 grams per five ounce serving, which is a standard glass. Most of my clients who subscribe to a low carb diet feel like they can't really choose wine to necessarily go along when they're trying to actively lose weight. Maybe in maintenance it's totally fine, but traditionally wine is not a recommended uh, alcohol to consume alongside with beer. Yes, there are low carb beers, but up until really this and maybe a few other options. I haven't really seen a low carb wine. They're usually at around four, six, sometimes even 10 grams of carbs per glass. And the fact that this is less than a half a carb per glass is just absolutely unreal. I mean, you could theoretically drink this whole bottle for like two grams of carbs. I'm not advocating for that, but I'm just saying, if you had a rough day, so what I thought I would do here is taste test these, and this is not sponsored. Seco did send me these to try and potentially recommend to you. I'm going to be giving you my honest feedback. Um, what's very fascinating about these, and I'm sure it probably does vary bottle to bottle, of course, but um, they are in general the same alcohol by volume as traditional wine. So it's all of the benefit and none of the sort of carb intake. So I'm gonna be trying these and giving you my feedback Back. I have a rosé, a red, and a white. So let's get started and I'll tell you what I think. Okay, so what I thought would be fun, since I'm not such a huge wine drinker, I brought my dad here. Say hello. hi. Hello, hello. <laughs> you don't have to be so formal. Okay. I thought it would be fun um, because, you know, I always think it's more fun when you have a drink to drink together with people you love and care about and obviously I love and care about my dad and he also lives a low carb lifestyle as well and enjoys wine. I'm somebody who typically drinks um, liquor because it is zero grams of carbs. It is not calorie free but it is typically carb free. However, my dad has a better point of view I think when it comes to reviewing wine so it will be interesting for us to compare and uh, taste test especially because uh, your dad, my grandpa, did own a been here for quite some time. So we do have a, a pretty informed palette right here. So he'll be able to tell you if it's, uh, if it's any good. So I thought, let's just try probably from lightest to darkest. So this one, what's nice about uh, these is that they're all labeled by number. So this is number eight, I believe this is 10 and this is seven. This is the number eight Bianco. So we're gonna try this one first, just a little taste. And dad, uh, I was telling them earlier, a typical glass of wine is around five grams of carbs per glass. And if you drank this entire bottle, it would be less than two grams of carbs. Wow. Isn't that amazing? That's amazingly low. That's amazingly low. So let's try. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, it's very nice. It's very light. It's very light. It's not very full bodied. It's actually very nice, actually. Not, not bad at all. Very close to a Pinot Grigio. I think a Bianco is its own category. That's very easy summertime drinking, if you ask me. That's pretty nice. Yeah, I mean, I would. if you were to serve this to somebody, I don't think they would know the difference. Absolutely not. Absolutely not, right? Right. All right, on to the next. Did you finish your drink? Yeah. <laughs> Faster than me. Can't waste any wine. Can't waste any wine. Okay, this is a, what they call a rosado number 10. So it's important to note that the alcohol by volume for the lighter are 12, and then obviously reds tend to be, in general, more. So this one's 13, which is fairly typical, right? Yeah, that's yeah. The darker the wine, the more. Right. But sometimes you get wine and the alcohol by volume is really low. And this is still just as strong. Also, it depends if it's a blend or not. Look at, see things that even I didn't know. All right, so we're gonna try the rosé. Let's give it a try. This is very similar. It's a little lighter, actually. You think so? 
people tend to go for rosé who don't feel like they have an opinion on wine in general, what they, pr what they prefer, and they, usually rosé is a safe option. Rosé is the, for the, gener the generic palate. Yeah, because it's not um, offensive to anybody. It's universally usually, appealing. Usually everybody likes it. Yeah. What do you think about this one? It's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's, very good, it's a very good neutral wine as far as like, it goes with anything. Yeah, I feel like these two are really light to the point where uh, it's almost like I don't want to throw in a spritzer and some ice cubes and, yeah. and sit outside by the pool. <laughs> They're really nice for that kind of thing. Exactly. Where you're exactly. having a uh, get together, people are not going to dislike it. There's no like, sharp notes or anything like that. It's very mild all around so far for these two. But this is the red. This is called the Rosso. And this is number seven. So reds tend to be more polarizing. Either you like it or you don't. Typically, I'm not a red drinker. Uh, you typically Which like red. Which is sacrilegious since she's Italian. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's great too is that these are all from Tuscany, so they're all Tuscan wines. Okay. All right. I appreciate you helping me with this taste test. This is obviously, in my opinion, probably going to be lighter. It's not going to be probably full body just because of the carb count. This looks more like something light, right? It's a little bit more transparent, a little bit more uh, grape juicy. Super smooth. Very nice. Yeah, you like it? Very nice. You, I mean, the wine that uh, our family used to make was red, so we have a very specific yeah, sort of this, feel. This sort of tastes, tastes like our family wine a little bit. It does? Yeah. It, it has a little bit of a, a, a peppery finish, but typically yeah. what I don't like on reds is the tannins that are in them tend to give me that, that weird mouthfeel at the end, and I'm not getting that from this. Right, because it doesn't have a lot of the... The, st the bad stuff in it. Exactly. fights. So. Yeah, you don't get the you don't get the squeezy jaw, the back. If I like it, that's really saying something because normally ten out of ten times I would never pick a red, but this is actually very enjoyable. Of the three, I prefer that the one the best. But that's because you typically like reds. Yeah, but they're all they're all very very good. And again, guys, I literally asked him, hey, do you want to join me on this five minutes before we started? What is your opinion on working this something like this into your life? Would you be willing to pay a higher, slightly higher price point or have it delivered? to save, I mean, it's a difference of a 20 grams per bottle versus two, less than two. Well, if you're, a, if you're just, a, if you're a regular wine drinker and you're on a keto diet, definitely. This allows it into yeah, your market if you're, better an, if you're an occasional wine drinker. Maybe not. Maybe not, but. Or maybe choose a, a but, liquor. But, but by, I mean, taking the keto and the carb part out of it, it's still very, there was still very good tasting wine, so. I mean, th th there's no sacrificing on taste, I feel like. No, there's And so the, for the fact that the, the calories are around the same, but the carbs, I mean, I gotta ask them how they do that because that's pretty, that's pretty crazy difference in terms of the carb count. Because well, aren't, aren't the carbs coming from the, the grape? Right. So how do they do that? That's what I'm saying. I gotta figure it out. I'll, it must be magic. I, it says Palo 61. I don't know if they're all this brand, but they're all certified by the Seco Wine Club. So thank you, Seco Wine Club, for sending this to me. If I can work out some sort of a discount code for you, I will have that in the description box below, or I will be putting it right here. Thank you so much for joining me for this. It's so fun. And uh, I would cheers to you, but you, you drank it all, so I'll just pour you some more. <laughs> if you're interested in uh, finding out more information about coaching or ending the cycle of yo-yo dieting for good, look for my link down below and sign up for my absolutely free training. I would love to have you watch it. There's nothing held back. And I will see you next time on my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, we're just going to keep hanging out. Cheers. See you next time. Bye.